Okay, hi everyone. This is the top 10, my favorite, worst, my ranking of the F1 liveries for the 2024 season. But before we actually uh, get to that, I want to address this. Yes. I think this is due for this year. They bring up the fact that they have the lineups for this year. Except for two exceptions. Roland and Carlin, which I don't think they're in F2 this year. I don't think. And if you look at ART, they actually do mention, yeah, look at this for ART. Britain, Zach O'Sullivan joins ART and are alongside Mark Tom. And yeah, this is an excellent way to figure out who we got the... Okay, that's a kind of a hilarious that Kick is sponsoring Pinapaldi when Zane is actually one of their reserves. Yeah, we got Calapinto. Another one I don't think mentions or who their drivers are is Bertorossi. And of course, PHM is now PHM AIX Racing. Of course, you have Trident, which will now have for sure in it and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. But now, let's get to the rankings of my top 10 F1 liveries for the 2024 season. Okay, let's get this out of the way. I think we all know what number 10 is. It is Alpine. And I'm not saying because the livery is fucking shit. But it's definitely the weakest because of all the carbon fiber and how black this looks. Thankfully, that's changing because FIA is going to regulate it. Thank God. The only redeeming factor is... Whoop, shit. The only redeeming thing about this car is this area right here. Other than that, that's practically it. It's way too uh, too much carbon fiber. The livery's boring. And honestly, it could have been a lot better. I was hoping there would be the camo on the blue here, but uh, so much missed potential here. Number nine, you're kind of think I'm surprised to put them this low. And that's Haas. Honestly, again, sort of the same issue. And again, this is also the same issue with the... Uh, it's the same livery as last season. But honestly, I kind of wish they added more red for MoneyGram and Haas as a whole. Especially right here. I was hoping there would be a little more red. But who knows? Maybe 2025. May, they're going to go for it. And considering Haas surprised... Surprised everybody that <laughs> didn't think Haas was going to be this well, especially with Steiner being shown the door. And I safe to say, Steiner leaving the team was the best thing that's happened to this Haas team. A fresh face to make the team more serious. All right, number eight. We actually have Red Bull. Now, this one's not at bad, but again. It's basically the same thing, and I had to put it su number 8 again. Hopefully, with Ford joining the team in 26, we see a different sh shade of blue. Hopefully, more of a gradient for the Red Bull. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of black on this car, so... Yeah. Hopefully, 25, we see a lot more blue, and I hopefully we can, can change it. I definitely dig the gradient on the halo. But yeah, number eight is Red Bull. And at number seven, we actually have Williams. At seven. Now, again, there's definitely the issue on the black side of the more black carbon fiber, but boy, the heritage, the history behind this car is solid. I, did, I definitely like the red and white on the side of the nose here. But again, a little too much black here. But overall, I love the different shades of blue. I'm kind of surprised Golf didn't... Golf probably wanted to put a little orange on here. And to be honest, that probably would have hurt. <laughs> this probably would have put it where, where Alpi would have been, but... At least golf has some color in the representation on this. So yeah, number seven is Williams. All right, number six is one of the two rebranded teams. It is Kick Sauber. Now, 
early on, if it wasn't for Al, if, if Alpine designed a better car, this probably would have been right near the bottom. But the more I saw it on track and see it on F1 TV, this car has grown on me. Yes, the design, especially right here, leaves a lot to be desired. But then again, this is only a short-term thing until Audi comes in in 26. But overall, this is a solid livery, which definitely can be a bit of attention for next season. But I love the Unleashed right here. So yeah, number six, it is Stake F1 Kick Sauber, or Kick Sauber F1 team. And now we're in the top five. And at number five, we have McLaren. Now, again, this is almost identical to last year, but they decided to ditch the blue number and go for a futuristic chrome color because chrome's the sponsor. And man, this car... It's really good. It's really solid, but I kind of wish they added more of a chrome, especially on the sponsors. But I kind of think they probably would have said no had they not gone with it. But still a solid livery, and it fits the McLaren. And again, I love that number font, which is why it's at number number five. Number five. Okay. At number four. We have Aston Martin. Definitely, again, it's the same livery, and I get just like McLaren, and I think I'm going to pair these two under the, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And, man, this is one sexy livery. And, again, feels weird seeing Val a NASCAR sponsor on this team, so... Yeah, and honestly, this team's getting better and better. In real life, still definitely a slow start, mainly due to Stroll, but Fernando's doing his job, liking what he sees with this car. So yeah, number f my number four is Aston Martin. Okay, we have three cars left in the top three. And at number three, We have Mercedes. Honestly, I dig this idea. Dig this idea. But I kind of wish the nose is silver. I think, but as it gets progressive, it gets a lot darker. It gets to the black. But this is real. Probably somewhere like around here, it gets the tone gets really dark but I definitely like the shade of blue but I the only thing I think that's a miss but then again this is only I think this only happens on Lewis's car is that you can barely see the number but yeah number yeah number three is Mercedes AMG Patronus and at number two probably a lot of you guys were pro probably surprised by this and honestly, this was a coin toss. But at the end, I'm going to give the number two spot to the team that was dead last last year in the rankings. We have the Visa Cash App RB. And man, what a turnaround after last year. And honestly, it seems that Orlin were committed because so far when, when they announced the T name, we looked. I looked over the website. I did not notice Orlin. And I loved the... It was a throwback to their Toro Rosso days as well. Which is nice. I dig the old school font. And man. This is a home run kit. A home, not a home run kit. A home run livery, excuse me. And this proves, despite a very stupid name, this livery rocks and of course at number one 
for the third year in a row, it's Ferrari. I mean, what else can I say? Red car, very minimal on the black. Same with Visa Cash App RB. And I love, they threw in the yellow. This makes me wonder, are we going to get the, uh, are we going to get the HP patched into this? Which, granted, probably won't do this car justice. And hopefully they can blend it, the HP in somewhere. And it doesn't affect the delivery at all. But, man, this is one sexy car. And hopefully it's going to be awkward seeing Lewis Hamilton rocking the red of the Scuderia. Let me know what you guys think of my list. In the meantime, in a little bit, in a, in a little while, it's time to start hitting the track with a pra a couple of pra with a practice session. See if we can try this practice this uh this new handling situation and see what this is all about.